All right, the next thing that I want to show you how to do is how to export from iMovie for the web. Um, so you have your, your titles all done, your editing's all done, everything's all perfect, ready to go, and you're ready to put it online. What you do is you go up to File, Export, okay, and you want to export it as a QuickTime file, and you want to compress Movie 4 Export Settings. This will let you customize exactly what you're going to put online, so it'll be um, the best that it can be. So you're going to go to Share, and then you're going to want to save your movie. So just title it what you want to call it. I'm going to call this one Fire. Okay, and I want to set it to my desktop. That's right. Um, and I want to export QuickTime Movie, that's right. Uh, most recent settings, you want to change your most recent settings. So you want to go to Options, um, and you're going to go up to Settings first. And you want to change your compression type to be um, H.264, which is an Apple um, compression. Um, the files end up looking really nice, and they're really uh, small file size which makes them great for the web. Then you're going to go over to OK. Um, and the next thing you want to do is change the size. So normal video is going to be 640 by 480. That's what your television resolution is going to be. On the web it's going to be 320 by 240. So go ahead and check that. Um, and you can go ahead and de-interlace the, uh, the source video and click OK. And then go ahead and click OK. Once it looks like this, you have your compression, H.264, quality high, um, and then 320 by 240 for the web, you're good to go. So click OK, and go ahead and save your file to the desktop, and click Save. So now it's going to compress the movie. And once that's done, I'll pick up again. So I'm going to cut this out.